This past weekend, a friend, Jeff, who is currently living in Seoul, South Korea, and also has a YouTube channel, which I'll be linking down below, joined us to hang out in Osaka for one evening. Since I'm taking him out, I thought, why don't I just take you guys along as well to places where I will take you guys if you guys were in Osaka. Kicking off our evening in Shinsekai, which in Japanese literally means New World, next to easily accessible train station, Ebushicho Station, we immediately saw a gorgeous view in front of us of one of the most famous landmarks of Osaka, Tsutenkaku, which was built in 1912. Walking through the shopping street, there were many old Japanese style stores and restaurants, but what stood out the most for us was this really old Japanese arcade with machines that were literally from like 30 to 40 years ago. You can actually play the games there too. We walked straight through the shopping street, right past through Tsutenkaku, and took a sharp left turn into this narrow alley where our destination awaited. Of all restaurants that were lined up in Shinsekai, we entered Daruma, which is supposedly where Kushikatsu was invented in 1929. What is Kushikatsu, you may ask? Kushikatsu is a deep fried skewered meat and vegetables, very famous in Osaka, and there are many many restaurants. But above all, we wanted to take them to where it started, the origin of Kushikatsu. Although there are many locations of Daruma restaurants, this is a little bit different. The interior is kept like the old Japanese restaurant style, where you sit at a counter facing the chefs, and each seat have very little space next to each other. But don't be turned off by this, because the atmosphere will grow on you more and more as you spend time there. Enjoy what could arguably be the one of the best kushikatsu in Osaka for a very reasonable price of about $20 a person. But the biggest difference I feel is that the chefs there have the pride in serving you the best kushikatsu possible, maintaining its legacy of now a big chain restaurant. Daruma offers perfectly fried kushikatsu with a good texture of batter, which you will be dipping into its special hidden mix sauce that you cannot double dip. You also get free unlimited cabbage when you need to refresh your mouth from the oily food. Our recommended choices of kushikatsu from there are classic kushikatsu beef, onions, rice cakes, and cheese. Oh man, the food was so good. Did you like it, Jeff? Oh yeah, so good. Thank you so much for taking us. Yeah, shikatta. As you can tell, we probably have maybe a little too much fun and drinks there. After overfilling ourselves, we took a short walk over to Tennoji Station. Passing through like a nice little park with view of high rises where people are hanging out. And there's like a little park area, it's hard, kind of hard to see but where you can kind of like sit down and relax and have fun. You can drink in public so, alcohol in public so. This is a nice place and not as crowded as all the other places in Osaka like Do Dotonbori and like Umeda. A little bit more quiet, a lot more local people here I feel like. We continue along the path and stop at Abeno Harukasu. Abeno Harukasu, which is the tallest building in Japan, has arguably the best view of the city of Osaka. So we got to the top of the building, now we're at 60th floor. Check the view out, it's amazing here. And the view there is absolutely gorgeous. You may be asking, what about Sky Garden in Umeda? My recommendation to you is go to Abeno Harukasu. Not just because I like the view there better, but also because of its ease of access to go there from Shinsekai, as well as going home from Tennoji Station, which gives you a good access to a lot of major train stops. Additionally, if you have time to spare, you can in fact visit many of large department stores next to Abeno Harukasu to do your unfinished shopping there. The view from there is really nice and the video doesn't do you justice, so you really need to come see it in person. Right below the top floor, there are restaurants where we decided to pick ourselves drinks and enjoy our time with our friends at the tallest building of Japan overlooking the entire beautiful city of Osaka.
All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today. <laughs> You're doing that okay? Uh, that's gonna be it for today. So these are the places I would take you guys along with me if you guys get to visit Osaka uh, for one evening. So when you come to Osaka, definitely check these places out. Thank you, Jeff, for coming by and his friend Alex. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>